Saturday Kitchens Matt Tebbit has been rushed to hospital for emergency surgery. The 48-year-old, who hosts the popular Saturday morning show on BBC One, took to Instagram to share details of his hospital dash. Posting a picture of him sat in a hospital bed surrounded by medical equipment, Matt can be seen seemingly smiling behind his blue face mask as he looks straight at the camera. Me, a morphine drip and an emergency appendectomy are keeping me from a much anticipated lunch at at Manteca underscore London, he began, as he complained about having to miss out on a date with friends. Matt was full of praise for the hospital staff, as well as the doctors and nurses, who attended to him after having his appendix removed. But everything and everyone here at the Grange Hospital in Point have been fantastic. Couldn't ask for more from such a brilliant health service. So grateful. Hash NHS hashtag nurse hashtag the Grange Hospital hashtag appendectomy, he concluded. Matt will not be hosting this weekend's edition of Saturday Kitchen, instead, chef Angela Hartnett will cover him as host, the BBC confirmed to Mirror Online. The procedure is usually carried out after the patient suffers appendicitis, which is painful aches on the lower right-hand side of the stomach. The appendix needs to be removed, via keyhole surgery, as soon as possible, because otherwise it could lead to life-threatening complications. Matt's famous friends left their well wishes in the comments, as they shared their shock at his emergency hospital dash. Sending wellness wishes pal, Cold Feet star Faye Ripley wrote. Hope you are okay, liquid lunch for you then. Fellow TV chef Jimmy Doherty added. Babe. Bloody Nora. Get better soon my love. Thank God you're okay. Andy Oliver wrote, as Lisa Faulkner added, oh no. Hope you are okay lovely 30. Matt has been a huge hit with viewers after taking over the reins from James Martin in 2016. The Yorkshire chef left to pursue other projects, and currently hosts a rival show on ITV, called James Martin's Saturday Morning, which he has fronted since 2017.